Hello there, and we're t today we're talking about a much needed uh, issue that we need to discuss in the area of scuba education, which is scuba techniques for clowns. So we're sitting here with Graham, and uh, we have some qu questions for you, Graham, uh, starting with the, one of the more obvious ones, which is, what is the best way for clowns to equalize? You might think the Valsalva maneuver would be more, more difficult for, for a lot of reasons. What do you have to say about that? I think... Um the clown should swallow their own shoe would help them equalize. Definitely manipulate the eustachian tubes. So when clowns swallow their own shoes, which happen to be rather large and can sometimes d double, double as fins, would that not affect their ability to manipulate themselves in the water to propel themselves forward? Or? Uh, yes, but all good clowns have another pair of large shoes contained within their already large shoes. Thank you for that logical answer. Uh, now, so, something else to, th to, to think about is uh, oftentimes when I'm inside a, a, a car with 200 of my clown friends, let's say 200 bozos, is there a way that that could translate to the tank pressure of 200 bar or any sort of conversion formula that you normally use for, for thinking about that? <laughs> with increased pressure uh, comes increased heat. So I'm more concerned about the makeup starting to run in all these clowns' faces. Any any solutions you recommend for running makeup and, uh, and eyeliner and all that sort of thing? I just use, I don't know, some kind of paint, uh, like lead paint, can, can double as a weighting system, I guess, uh, and that should uh, keep you going. Thank you. And one final question for you, which is uh, sometimes when uh, when I'm feeling kind of down and my mouth turns into a frown, the classic Emmett Kelly clown face, which, look, which looks so, something like a stonefish, uh, does, does that ever affect buoyancy or air consumption in any way, to your knowledge? <laughs> Not to my knowledge. Not to my knowledge. I'm also concerned about the impact that this pressure will have on your nose, uh, so take care there. Thank you for that. See you next time.